But where a vision board stops, y'all, is it just shows the vision of the what. These are the things that I want to uh, experience in my life. These are the what. What is in the vision. What the vision board misses is the why. Why are these things important? Why are these things you're going to help me live the life I want to live? Why do I want to live this life? Okay, not just the what, the vision's got to be paired with the why. Whew, what's up, y'all? Uh, if I'm a little bit winded on this episode in the first few minutes, it's because I'm wrapping up a workout outside, 75 hard. Uh, second time doing it, I'm, I'm going to pick up and talk about why I'm doing this again, why it's 11 o'clock and I'm outside and it's raining and it's 35 degrees. <laughs> but what we're going to be talking about in deep de- detail on this episode uh, is not really vision. I'm going to be talking about a nuance of vision that a lot of people get wrong. And if you get this one thing wrong on charting the vision for your life or the vision for your business, uh, this is the single differentiator that I've found between two entrepreneurs that have a vision, one succeeds and the other one doesn't. One um, hits their goals, the other one doesn't. One has momentum, the other one struggles. One feels like the vision is motivating to them and exciting to them. Uh, The other one feels like the, the vision is actually a weight and something judging them. Well, one person looks at their vision as something that's a worthy and um, and like tangible and real reason why they need to do it. And the other person looks like the vi- looks like the vision as something that they wrote on the wall one time and is unattainable. So, what is the difference between person A who has a vision, person B who has a vision, and the drastically different outcomes that they can have? Well. Let's go back to 75 hard. So as I'm doing a little cool down walk after my workout, hands are frozen. I'm about two weeks in right now. Um, and I didn't have to do 75 hard again. So if, if you guys have never heard of 75 hard, um, go look it up, 75 hard, Google it. You'll find all kinds of information about it. And um, it's not really a fitness program while you get amazing fitness benefits for sure. Uh, the first time I did it in 2021, I got shredded. Go find me on Instagram, trevor.mock. I look back at my uh, spring 2021. I think I posted a before and after picture. Uh, but the real benefit, y'all, is actually the mental side. It's the mental toughness. It's all the benefits you get on really how to um, operate as a human being better. You know, for me, I'm a better father during and after when I do 75 hard. I'm a better, better husband. I'm a better man of faith. I'm a better leader. Um, I actually have more time, not less time when I do 75 hard. And that's the big thing. You know, we had some friends who were starting this with us as well. And um, the very first day, a friend or two dropped out. And 75 hard is meant to be hard, right? And it's not, it's not for everyone. So I don't want to judge anyone that doesn't want to do it or that drops out of it early, right? Oftentimes, it's the timing in our lives uh, related to the why, a vision is important. That's what we're going to be talking about here is how to bake in an amazing why into your vision that drives you. But um, oftentimes it's the timing of, of our lives that makes something work. Because at that point in life, we have not just a vision for where we want to go. That's, that's step one. But we have to have a very, very, very clear why that vision is important. Why it's important that we make that vision happen. But uh, this friend of ours, dropped out on day one. Uh, they do have a, a work schedule that makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, get up, you know, get, get up at four in the morning, go to bed at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, they've got two kids that are in high school. Uh, they both work. So it's a busy schedule, right? But day one, uh, they dropped out. And the reason they dropped out was because 75 hard probably just wasn't the best tool for them in their life at that time for the why that they had behind it. Now, let me toss at you a, a scenario, okay? Let's say, and we're gonna stick with 75 Hard here, here for a second. Let's say that you were in that same position as my friend and you were told by someone that 
if you did not complete 75 hard successfully, even with all those things against you, even with the 4 a.m. wake up time, going to, going to work early, long days at work, going to bed at 8, 8 p.m. or so um, with your normal schedule, two kids in high school, uh, a spouse, both of you work full time, full lives. What if someone walked up to you and said, if you don't complete 75 hard uh, and do it without missing one day in one activity, that on the 76th day or the day that you quit or the day that you fail, um, you will no longer exist on this earth. Okay. What if someone or a spirit or whatever it was came up to you and said that? I can guarantee you that you will succeed at 75 hard. Now, why is that? Why is it that now all of a sudden the circumstance changed and now you will be successful? You will likely have a near 100% success rate of making it work. Well, the only thing that changed, it wasn't the rules of 75 hard. It wasn't your, uh, you know, the restrictions you had in your schedule. It wasn't any of those things. The only thing that changed was the why behind the vision that you needed to make happen. Okay, the vision for that time period, for that 75 hard, for that 75 days, is to get this thing done, to be stronger on the other side. The why behind it now is acute. It matters because you know the why is either I live or I die. Right now, I know that's a pretty extreme experience or a pretty extreme example, but it's a real example. And let's kind of make this look real for the rest of us in our lives and businesses. So if you're looking at this year and you've got some amazing goals and let's say you look at last year, uh, if I'm winded, guys, I apologize. I'm just going to walk around the driveway in the rain a little bit while we're talking. This is the, the, not the truck talk, it's the walk and talk today. But let's say you've got a vision for your life. And I use what's, what I call a vision story. I've talked about it tons of times. Or you guys can go to carrot.com forward slash epic and uh, I go watch some of the replay of my last epic planning call where I talk about my personal vision. I actually go into my, I actually read the first two pages of my personal 20 year vision story. I started choking up and, and, uh, and getting emotional on that because I'd never read it before. I'd, re- I'd written it, but I hadn't like read it out loud to somebody and I started choking up because that vision was so vivid to me that it was so clear it was like a movie but not just that y'all you don't choke up on the what you don't choke up emotionally because of what you're going to do you choke up emotionally because of why that thing matters in your life okay and until you write a vision story in the personal side that makes you choke up that you're so proud that you experienced that, that you achieved that, you accomplished that, that you became that person, that you lived that life, that you're so proud that that happened. Until you make a personal vision story that, that does that to you, you likely don't have a vision that has a why behind it that's real. Okay, so let's say in the business side of things, okay? Uh, one thing that we teach at our Carrot Camps and we teach in our new Epic program, that's our high-level program here at Carrot, where I personally, in a group format, coach, um, high-level entrepreneurs in the six and seven figure mark on the real estate side. Uh, it's a new program. We cap it at a, a hundred people for the year, a hundred businesses for the year. And we really help you guys build those business freedom and impact. One of the big things we talk about is having that, that business vision. Now, one thing that, that happens, I was on a call today with uh, two different entrepreneurs, two calls back to back. Um, one was uh, almost an eight figure real estate investment business. They've been a client of ours for a long time. Uh, they're a house flipper, they're wholesaling, they have a property management business. And uh, the other one was just under a million dollar a year business, a real estate business. Uh, and they mainly wholesale and they do some flipping. And there were two stark differences. One of them was having a little bit of challenges, still growing and doing an amazing job. But he was kind of starting to get burnt out. And so we started to talk about vision. And there really wasn't a clear vision for why or what he wanted to do several years out. He just had a, a plan of get myself out of this business as quick as I can. And when we started to talk about it, I said, cool. So you mentioned you want to hire the salesperson and you want to maybe hire a COO um, and kind of start to work your way out of the business. What are you going to do next? You know, why, why do you want to do that? Uh, what, what, do you, what gives you energy and what are you going to start to do with your time instead? Or are we just kind of running away from the pain because you've hit the pain line and you need to do certain things in your business to grow through that pain line so you can get to the other side of it and really have an amazing business, amazing life again. Uh, So there's two things. Either you have a very, very clear vision 
and a reason why it's important that you don't spend the time in this business or you're running towards the you're running away from the pain line and you're just trying to get away from pain what is it and it was the pain line answer right so that's me the thing that we're going to work on with him is crafting an amazing business and life vision that not only not only can he clearly see the what of the vision but he can clearly feel the why that vision is important and so let me kind of walk through a couple examples here for you Okay, Um, I want you to just to think about this and I want you to think about where you want to be in your life or in your business. And one tool that a lot of people will use is something called a vision board, right? And we've all probably heard of a vision board before. And a vision board is essentially a tool where someone, you go out there and you grab some pictures and you you know, do a bunch of things that <laughs> you cut out some, the picture of the person with those ripped abs that you want, or, you know, you cut out a picture of the house uh, that represents the house you want, or the car or the family or, you know, whatever it is. And then you paste those on, on the board and you put that board in your house and you put it wherever you're always going to be. So you can always feel it and see it and, and bake it in your psyche. Now a vision board is cool because number one, as soon as you do that, it starts to make it more real for you right? But where a vision board stops, y'all, and this is where I've never been a big fan of vision boards for myself, but I know for other people they've worked, where the vision board uh, tends to stop is it just shows the vision of the what. These are the things that I want to uh, experience in my life. These are the what. What is in the vision? What the vision board misses is the why. Why are these things important? Why are these things um, you know, going to help me live the life I want to live? Why do I want to live this life? Okay, not just the what. The vision's got to be paired with the why on the personal side and the business side. So I'll give you a, a couple examples. And one symptom that you can recognize when you do not have the why down in your vision is the vision becomes a thing that sits on the wall and when things get hard, you compromise on your vision. When things get hard, it's way easier to compromise on your personal life vision. When things get really hard, it's way easier to compromise on the business vision because it's just a collection of things. It's just a collection of end states. It's not a collection of emotions. It's not a collection of transformations of the things that matter most to you in your life. We need to be collecting whys, not whats. And so many of us do a great job collecting whats, but a terrible job collecting whys. Okay, so I want, I want you to, to kind of go through this exercise with me. So the reason I, instead of using a vision board uh, for the personal side, or instead of only creating a vision of you know bullet points and stuff like that in the business side, I try to literally visualize and tell a story in my visions, okay? So I do love to have a visual picture of some of the things that are important, but then I need to have a written narrative, a written story of what that's gonna feel like, why it's important. Really talk about how it's gonna feel when you experience that. Like live that day, live that business, put yourself in those situations. And so let's look at the personal side, okay? So rather than just the vision board, so if you do a vision board, amazing, that's great. Keep doing the vision board if it works for you. But now add this on top of it. Whip out a piece of paper and I'll give you the micro version of my vision story process is you can still write down the narrative of what I call your average ideal day. The average ideal day is not the best day in the world, right? If you love Metallica, it's not you going backstage in Metallica and partying with the dudes and like, that's not the day. I'm talking, if you had to live this day, if you had to live this day, the rest of your life, every day, um, what would you be pretty done content and fulfilled if these types of things represented your day, okay? So I start from the second I wake up, the second I wake up, where do I wake up? And I literally write down, okay, it's, I do 20 years out first, because when you do 20 years out, it breaks your limiting beliefs. It makes you challenge anything that you think can get in your way. 20 years out, you can be a completely different person. You probably should be a completely different person. 20 years out is so far out for most of us that we can't comprehend 
that time period. And so it's harder than for us to take these limiting beliefs that we have now and say, well, I can't even, I can't even dream because those things are going to hold me back. Let yourself dream guys. Don't, don't think about how you're going to accomplish it. Just think about the, what you want to accomplish, what you want the day to look like, and then why it's important. Okay. Think about why it's important. So start writing from the second you wake up and start 20 years out. So it might be something like this, you know, uh, the year is, uh, 2052. Let's just say, okay, 2052. And I'm 60 years old and, um, I wake up and here's what the, here's what my room looks like. The room is, has tall ceilings. It's light and airy. The sun rises outside of my window over this body of water. It's an inspiring view outside of my window that I get to them, that, I, that I'm blessed to wake up to every single day. I roll over and see my beautiful wife, uh, kiss her, good morning, and blah, 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 then go on, go on with the rest of the day, be insanely detailed. When you get out of that bed, where are you going? Okay, what does that kitchen look like? Do you eat breakfast in the morning? If you do, what do you eat? Um, what time do you eat breakfast? Do you do anything else before that? Do you read? Do you write? Do you go for a walk? When do you work out? Why do you work out? Who do you work out with? Uh, what do you do? When you go to work, what time do you go to work? Do you walk to your office? Is it at your property? What's the property look like? Just dream, right? Use an opportunity to dream. Um, do you go to an office? Cool. Who's there? Where's it at? What did you drive to your office? What did that feel like? Who's going to be working with you? What types of projects are you going to be working on? And just allow yourself to dream. Take that exact scenario every hour throughout the day, Halloween until you go to bed. And like to so go to carrot.com forward slash epic and check out my last epic planning call where I read through about two pages of my personal vision story. And like I said, I, it caught me off guard because I choked up on the call because it hit me so hard. The why hit me hard. Now, what I want you to do is after you finish that, and it might take you half a day, it might take you three, four hours to just write it down and then put it away for a couple days and bring it back up. Okay. Just do all those things. Like it, it doesn't matter if it takes you weeks to do it in three or four sittings, just put thought to it, get creative and think about it. And then you'll work back to do the same thing at the 10 year, do the same thing and then the same thing to five years. So I've got a process. Our team will link up my vision story podcast where I dive into this whole thing in great, great detail. Okay. The big thing I want you to do is once you finish that vision, I want you to pick up that vision, that vision story, that narrative. The narrative bakes in the why. The vision board just shows the what. Okay. Pick that thing up. Go find someone that you care about. Someone that isn't going to judge you. Someone that might think you're a little bit crazy if you read some of that maybe. Right? Because it should be a little bit crazy. Like you should be, whoa, this life, man. It's almost intimidating how amazing this life sounds. But I know I can live it. Um, I don't know that I will live it, but I know that I can live it, right? Go find a person that you care about and say, you know what? Would you mind? I sat down and just wrote what I would love my, you know, our, our life to be like, or my life to be like, and you're so important to me. Would you mind if I read this and man, you know, it's just exciting. Now, if that's too far of a jump for you, just read it yourself, but read it out loud. Okay. Read out loud. Maybe look in the mirror and look at yourself when you're reading it and see if you get an emotional pull anywhere in there. See if you get an emotional pull. If you do, you've got some good why in there. Okay. Now we want to do the same thing on the business side. So what, what a lot of people do on the business side when they're looking at their vision is once again, they only do the what they say, I want to have a business that does a million dollars a year. I want to have two employees. I want to donate a hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, I want to be able to have $40,000 a month in passive cash flow. I want to be able to work four hours a day, right? Like that's, that's what a lot of times people's business vision looks like. Um, and that's cool. That, that's a great place to start, right? With the business vision, I like to do a 10 year. I like to say, hey, what's that one sentence? What's the one sentence that I want this business to look like in 10 years, right? The one sentence version of it. And then you work back to the three years and you say, well, three years out, what's this business look like in detail, right? What are my goals for the revenue goals? The other important goals, what's this business look like? What are the key strategies that I need to do? The two or three key strategies I need to put in place in order to have that business be a reality in three years. But where most people stop is they stop with that. They put it up somewhere. They start to get in the daily grind of their work and they forget about the vision because the why isn't attached to it. So the second the things get hard in your business, what happens? 
because that vision or that plan is just a wall hanging. It doesn't really actually hit you at your core and really guide the the what you're doing. The vision should drive every decision. And the only reason the vision will drive your decision if it hits you at your core, if it really matters to you, right? And so I want you to look at that vision and then I want you to ask yourself, why do I need to, why do I want to do this, right? And take out that same pen and pad or type it up on something. And I want you to write a narrative. Hey, in three years, it's this, you know, here's the year, 2025. In three years, my business does X amount of revenue. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. Now explain how that's going to feel. Now explain what impact you want that to make in your life and those around you. Now explain the type of person that you need to become or that you will become by that time in order to make that vision a reality, right? Explain that. Here's the person I am now. Here's the leader I am now. Here's the growth that I've had a chance to have over this time. Here's the impact we're making in the world because of this business. I want you to write that down. The second you have that, y'all, when you hit those moments where you have to persevere, where you have to push through, you will push through because of the why, not because of the what. And so guys, as I, as I close this out and I head inside uh, before my fingers freeze off, um, I want you to think about your why. And I want you to think about, you know, we talk about vision a lot. We talk about making sure that our business isn't just a whole collection of hows and whats, but it's a collection of not, you know, it's, it's a collection of whats too, but it also is a collection of the whys. Like, why the heck are we doing this? What purpose do we have on earth? What purpose does this business have other than just making me some money? As soon as you start to bake that in, y'all, I can guarantee you, business becomes more enjoyable. If you don't hit that revenue goal, yeah, go for it next time. But you know what? You still have this why that's baked in and that excites you to keep pushing forward. Let's say a, a deal goes south. That doesn't ruin your, your year if a deal goes south because you're looking three, four, five, 10, 20 years out. Okay, that, that little blip that lost you 20 grand is a blip on the radar. If you don't have the why and are excited about the long term, that 20 grand loss will be a massive nuclear bomb on your radar and it's going to ruin your whole week month year because we're thinking macro we need you to think micro i'm sorry you're thinking micro i need you to think macro okay when you think over the the long-term scale and the why you want to do this the why you want to be here on earth the person you want to become the winds are going to be sweet but fleeting because you're going to keep on moving towards that mission the losses are going to be a little bit painful but quick, you're not gonna you're not gonna stew on them. And you'll be able to make decisions faster and move through them. But I can guarantee you, the joy in your life is gonna be a lot more consistent. Okay, the stress in your life is gonna be a lot less prevalent, and you're gonna enjoy your business more. You're gonna march towards that business of freedom and impact. So, guys, I want you to go to carrot.com forward slash epic to get the last um, recording of my epic planning call, where I read through my personal vision. I think it's about halfway through the call. Um, and also, if you're an investor or an, an uh, agent investor hybrid who's doing six figures a year or more, um, I'd love to see uh, you apply to our new EPIC program. The EPIC program is where it's my program, basically. All. Like, it's, it's the thing I've been the most pumped about uh, for a long, long time, where I'm taking all my learnings over the years, you know, growing six or seven businesses, failing on two of them, um, you know, selling two of them. Uh, having two wildly successful software companies that are uh, one's an eight figure a year company, the other one's almost an eight figure a year company, a multiple seven figure uh, real estate portfolio. Um, uh, shoot, make a good bit of money doing private lending, have an amazing family, have lots of ample time with family, amazing marriage. Of course, there's all there's bumps and bruises, and there's things that we're continually improving, guys. but. I'm baking all this into that program to help you build the business of freedom and impact. It starts with building a consistent, profitable business. And that comes with a clear strategy, baking in evergreen components, and then adding leverage to your business. We dive into each one of those in the monthly coaching calls, my marketing teardowns on a monthly basis, and with our experts who come in there, and also with the community that you're going to be a part of with other high-level investors and hybrids. Once you start to build that consistency, then it's about buying back your time because now you're like, man, I'm making some good money, but dude, I feel like I'm on the grind right now and I need to get some time back. I don't have time for my family. I don't have time for fitness and health. 
And so then we're going to walk you through the three core principles and all my frameworks, processes, playbooks, and the support of my team to help you get that time back. Um, there's one of our clients in this program, Marco, uh, who had a chance to go through after coming to Carrot Camp and hired an executive assistant. And uh, my executive assistant, Jen, had a chance to help his assistant and coach her a little bit and give him some of our processes. And he's doing a great job with it. He started to buy back some time. He's a seven-figure entrepreneur. He's probably listening to this episode. <laughs> and uh, and that's part of it is we need to buy back that energy and time. When you have the energy and time and you have a consistent business, because it's a profitable business, now we get a chance to really be intentional with making sure the impact and purpose is baked into our business. And then about the three-year mark, that's when you need to renew that vision, lengthen the runway of that vision, and, and think and dream on what is the next three to five years going to look like and why is that important to me. So if you're interested in that program, hit me up, Trevor at Carrot. Dot com just email me and say interested in the epic program in the subject line we'll hook you up with my team we'll do a strategy coaching session and uh, give you a real strategy for the next 12 months and uh, if this program is right for you awesome uh it's not right for everyone we are going to be qualifying the heck out of out of people to make sure it's a quality um group of people so we're probably only going to accept a percentage of everyone who applies but we will give you a free growth coaching session hit me up or dm me at trevor.mock m-a-u-c-h on instagram so guys i appreciate y'all bake the why into your vision i can guarantee you you're going to start to see a lot more fruits of the labor and enjoy business and life even more All right, i'm going to get inside my friend my fingers are freezing off <laughs> appreciate you guys love you guys if you like this episode, share it up with somebody uh, who can benefit from it and give a rating and review on Spotify and, and Apple Podcasts or wherever the heck you listen to the Carrot Cast. All right, guys, share this up. We'll talk soon.